Hello, my pinkies, and welcome to my pink room. So, what do we see here? So, I filmed this on Sunday, and I posted this picture of this these full boxes on my Instagram account. I think Tuesday, and a lot of you guys asked me if this is going to be a kit, if this is going to be a kit, or that you guys wanted this to be a kit. I'm sorry, this is not a kit yet. Um, but if I was to make a kit, it will be something similar, but it won't be exactly the same images because there's, I think there's like five, 15 boxes there, 15 full boxes, which is way too much for a kit, but it could be a mystery kit or a regular kit that I've gone and put in my shop. I'm not sure yet. So if you guys um, did not watch my monthly, March monthly plan with me video, I'll put the link down below and let's just jump right into it. So we are planning from March 26th to the March 4th. Let's get started. To be honest with you guys, this video started off as a talk through, but while I was filming somewhere halfway through the middle, I just literally stopped talking and just was just focusing on planning and then totally forgot that I was filming. I was just so into it. But you might see some gesture, a lot of hand gesture uh, in this video more than usual because I was talking at the beginning and using my hand gesture. So that's why you see more hand movement in this video. So here I am just explaining that I'm just going to go cut these into full boxes and I'll be right back. So here we are, they're all cut up. I don't think I'll be using all these full boxes here. There is literally 15 and you could literally <laughs> cover two rows of this. So I'm not going to use all of them. Um, this is going to be a scattered white space planning. And right now I'm just going to do a little dance, scatter them around and see where I like to place them and which image. I printed these image on for my photo glossy paper sticker, but you could print it on anything, even on um, scrapbook paper and just tape it down. But I just figured with sticker paper, it's just easier for me to peel back and tape it down. So I decided to use less because at the end I could always add on more if I need to. With scatter planning, there's no rule to follow. Everybody has their own way of scatter planning. Um, my way is just I do it like a diagonal V down and then another diagonal V up. Um, just to space out the images itself. I see people doing like a W style on the page. But it's all up to you, or you could just do like a X like on both pages, crisscross. But as I said, it's up to you. So here are the washies that I'm explaining that I'll be using. Um, this is our Rebel collection, and it's been sold out since the PBC sale. A lot of you guys have been asking, when am I going to restock this? The restock date right now is early April, the first or second week. It might come around that time. I'll be restocking this exact color and collection however that will be the final restock of that collection so if you guys do not get your hands on them the first time and really really want them I suggest you to wait till April beginning of April or mid April that's when I'll be restocking them okay so let's get back into our weekly spread here I'm explaining that the middle part these stripes down the middle is going to annoy me because all the weekly pages have that in the middle and when if I was to do like a pastel type of spread it just kills the theme and style of it so now I have to always cover it up with my label stickers and the thing is I wish I've known before I bought this planner because when you buy the happy planner it's actually sealed the whole like all the pages in the inside is sealed so you can't really see the inside until you go home and open it up and I was like oh man <laughs> but it's okay I'll just use my label sticker and just cover the whole thing up and then at the end I do have a man be hole punch and I'll just hole punch the holes back in no biggie so I had to trim the stickers off so here we are so much better um, the bottom I'm not too worried because I'm going to cover that bottom right now with this washi tape here this is our vintage floral washi tape that also comes in a collection called everlasting and it's still available if you guys are interested. But yes, I think this match very well with this week's spread. It's all florals. 
You all know me with washi. I cannot just stop with one washi at the bottom. So I decided to use my skinny washi hair just to add on top of it to give it a little bit more dimension. While I have my washi out here, I'm going to do the top part also, but I'm gonna use something different. I've decided to use pink and gold on the top because the pink will pull out the pink from the florals at the bottom. And I'm going to use the skinny diagonal washi, the same one I used at the bottom, just to tie everything and balance everything out. Once I have all my faux boxes and washi down, I like to section them off. The bottom I'm going to use my bow washi and the top I'm going to use my heart to washi. That itself is like a section in its row and during scatter planning it can get very disorganized. And when you have a formula that you like to use to plan and do it consistently row by row or column by column, the scatter planning will look organized and not a hot mess. Okay, so speaking about formulas, so my formula here is that I put down my full boxes, then I do my borders for my full boxes, then now you can see I am putting down my headers. As you can see, I'm going down, the direction of me planning is down towards the bottom, so whatever I stack on is stacking on downwards instead of upwards or sideways. But as I said, as long as there's a formula that you are comfortable with, that you like to use, then go for it. And then as you can see here that the formula was incorrect and I realized that because it's supposed to be at the bottom of the full boxes. So no matter what, everything starts from the full boxes and you work yourself down. And that was that is the general rule that I follow for my scatter planning. And once you do that, then nothing will go wrong. After my headers, I'm gonna add in my ombre heart check boxes. This is from my PJ2 Party collection and the color palette of that kit match very well with the full boxes here. So that's why I'm using it here. So same formula, just go down, down from full boxes and build your way down. Now on the Wednesday column, as you can see that the full box is actually at the bottom of the page already. So you just revert and do the top part and you just cycle it back up like that. And next on my formula are my meal plans that I like to place below my little things or to-do list. This is our meal plan sticker sheet. Um, it's just blank meal plan stickers that you can use for your week. I'm gonna use gray. Strategically place them down following my formula. For me, when it gets to the weekend, it depends on how busy my weekend is. So here on the Saturday, I'm gonna use the bottom box as my next week checkbox that things that I like to jot down or I haven't done this week, I would jot it down in that box. So I know I have to do that for next week or I can refer to that box for next week when I plan next week. So that's why I put my meal plan stickers above that box there. Honestly, there's no rule to planning. Just be creative, be adventurous, and do how you feel works well for you. And after weeks and weeks of practice, you'll get the hang of what you like or what you don't like or that what works for you if you place certain stickers here and there. And that's how you build your own formula. This took me a while. Honestly, this took me at least six months because before I was never a scatter planner. If you do follow me at the beginning, I'm always constant section, like row by row by row. So like the top row will be my today's, my middle row will be all my decorative full boxes, and the bottom row will be all my to-dos. And I just got tired and I needed something to change. So I'm like, oh, let's try the scattered planning. But I was too afraid that it may look too messy or disorganized. But once you start doing it and um, practice on it weekly, it just comes as second nature to you. And it just goes easier, flows easier, and you will create your own formula for that. As you can see, I've already created my next week check boxes. Here I am using rose colored dates, foil script stickers, and it just says next week on it. Okay, once that is done, my next section, all the blank spots are my today's, or to do, not to do's, my, but my today's things, events that's happening today, or important events. So I'm just gonna 
mark off each section or close off each meal plan section with a washi. And this time I'm going to use my pink bow heart washi. As you can see here, I was about to do the same thing on Sunday, but then when I look back, it looks like too much bows going on at that corner with the pink. So I'm just going to use a different washi, a white washi, and just to border that part off. Now let's work on our today's event. Um, what really stands out for this week for me is my daughter's birthday, which is on the 28th, as you can see that I'm like constantly pointing there. So I'm gonna just do that um, box and just fill it up with her favorite princess and indicate that that's her birthday. She's turning five, like, oh my goodness, five. Honestly, when you have kids, they, it, like, the years just go by so fast. That's already half a decade, half a decade. Like, oh my goodness. The princess sticker is from Joy of Planning and the happy birthday foil is also from Rose Colored Days. I believe both their shop are on holiday vacation mode right now. And I think Joy of Planning will be back up on Monday. Um, Rose Colored Days, I'm not sure when she will be back, but yes, they are both on Etsy. So if you haven't checked them out, please check them out. Amazing quality, amazing doodles, and the foil, oh my gosh, can I tell you? I'm so in love with the foil, and she has a lot of options and color for foiling too. So yeah, go and have fun and pick and choose, because I had so much fun buying from her. Next, I'm gonna work on Tuesday, because Tuesday we have an after-school play date with one of um, Penelope's little friend from school. So I'm just gonna drive both of them back to their house and we're gonna stay there for dinner too. And I felt that I, even though it's a no white space spread, it just felt really weird to have a half box just floating in the middle of a white space. So I'm just gonna cover the top and the bottom part with the washi and I'm just gonna add my half box in there. I was about to do Thursday and I'm like, wait a minute, my formula, see, the formula will never fail you because you know something is wrong and something is up and I will have to put a washi there. So my in-laws are actually staying with us on the 28th and they are leaving the next day to head back home. And Monday is a payroll payday for me, so I'm just gonna indicate that with one of our payday icon sticker here. Generally, this week is all about fulfilling orders, and I'm gonna have two days to design some new releases and also some new washies. I know Tuesday night will be an all-nighter for me, so that's why Wednesday I do need coffee, and obviously Monday you always need coffee. This week my husband's gonna play hockey twice, one on Wednesday and one on Friday, so I have little hockey icon stickers there to indicate that. And because this is a no kit, so there's no weekend head or banner, I just took this sticker here. It's from one of the Mambi sticker book, and it just says, I love weekends. And before I place it down, I'm gonna use this washi that I've used at the bottom and make a border and then just place my weekend banner on top of that. So this weekend is going to be super crazy for us because we have two birthday parties to go to. First one is for my nephew and the second one is for my little girl. My nephew and my daughter shares the same birthday and they were born in the same year. So when they're growing up for the first four birthdays they've been sharing their birthdays. Um, and we were doing it together. But now because they're older, they want their friends, different friends to go to the party. So we decided that we will do ours on Sunday and my brother will do his on Saturday for his son, for my nephew. The birthday sticker is from the Mom Mambi Happy Planner sticker book. And that's it for the box for the birthday. And now for my daughter's on Sunday, it's actually in early in the morning. And here I'm gonna use the balloons that is from EXO Mama Plants. I think this is a exclusive deco sheet. It was part of the PPC sale. So I'm gonna use these Mickey Mouse balloons because these are super cute, like adorbs. I love the bow at the bottom. And I'm just gonna add a flag and cake onto that box too. 
Instead of using another princess sticker, I decided to use this birthday girl sticker from Joy of Planning. Super adorable. I really, really love her doodles and characters. And this birthday girl is just perfect for this. With her characters, you can actually pick and choose the hair color. And I'm not sure about the skin color, but you could pick and choose the hair color of how your color, how your color, how your character would look like. And I chose black slash dark brown because my hair color is that color and same with my daughter. And I usually use these characters for my daughter. So on this Sunday after the party, we could all relax and there's nothing really much planned for that day. So I'm just going to cover that full box or not full box. I'm going to cover that empty space with one of these full boxes here. I'm going to measure it and cut it out and I'm going to place it down just like that. And lastly, the sidebar. I usually cover the whole sidebar with a scrap piece of paper, but because I have all these full boxes left over, I'm going to use two of them to cover the bar to add a bit more decorative element to it. And I do like um, the calendar at the top corner. It kind of gives it an editorial <laughs> look. So I'm just going to pick and choose to see which full boxes I like to use. And like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> I actually had to take a picture for my Instagram and that's why everything looks so different. <laughs> All the background, I moved it around. And I always try to make a point that I need to take a picture before the pen. I, I find it looks so much better before the pen, but once, you know, my handwriting goes down, it just doesn't look that good. I gotta practice on my calligraphy. I am going to fast forward this because I'm going to fill everything out and I will see you in a bit. Now that everything's done, we're gonna punch some hole into this so I can put it back into my planner. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me video. As you can see here, I am just rearranging everything because I'm gonna take a few more pictures too from my Instagram account. But don't mind me. Thank you for watching and if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Usually no kits are pretty hard for me to do. But because of these beautiful pictures, I had to do it. I had to do it. It's just too pretty. Hope you guys are having an amazing week or weekend. And I will see you in my next Plan With Me video. Happy planning. Bye.